everyone, it's Jennifer with DP Addiction Adventures. I would have started this video a little sooner, but I was searching all over my house for my glasses because I want to be able to see you. You have such beautiful eyes there, and with the sparkle that's coming off of what we're about to do, I needed my glasses. So, so sorry it took me forever to get this video going. But I wanted to know, what do you do when your drills don't stick. Something happens to your canvas, you can't get your drills to stick, maybe the poured glue doesn't go all the way to the edge. So here is a video on tips and tricks on how to get those silly non-glue parts sticky again so you can put down those square or round drills or even some extra sparkle. So I'll see you in just a minute. Let's turn this camera around and dive in. Hey everyone, we are back. I have the camera super close because we're gonna do some close up work. This was a craftably rainbow tree or is. Absolutely gorgeous, love it. We'll be doing a post review on it, but unfortunately, whoever did this when they produced it didn't get all the way to the corner with the poured glue. This part right here, I have already done the technique because it was kind of like a circle right here, a half circle, quarter circle. So this white, light pink area, I've already done the technique I'm about to show you, as well as these four colors because they were part of this color palette and I didn't want to have to pull the colors out. So what I've done is I have either used Tombow's Mono Liquid Aqua Glue, or Aqua Tombow Mono, Tombow Aqua Mono Liquid Glue, say that five times fast. It has a brush tip. This is what I use to seal most of my paintings, or it has a pointed tip that you can use. This one, most of what I've used in here was to seal a painting. There's just a little bit left, and that's why we're going to use this on this project. I've also done a review on these quickie glue pens that you can use. What I found with these pens, though, because I got it from somebody else on YouTube, sometimes it's hard to get the glue out, but that's what happens is you just pinpoint where you want the glue. It's blue, it doesn't come out really fast like a pen. And so this is pretty good if you only have one or two areas that maybe you've put your arm in or a hair gun on there. I'm not super impressed with these pens, but I need to work with them more. So I'm not, saying yay or nay with them. They came in a two pack. We will see. And then they go on blue and dry clear. So that's, that's where we're at. So let me grab the drills. Let's dive in and get this party started. Ta-da! With the magic of TV, we have drills. I'm gonna pull my handy dandy, lovely drill tray out here. And we are all set to go. So this is not Craftably's fault. There's no way they would know that the glue did not go to the end. All they could do is after I report to them, report to their manufacturer and let them look at it a little bit closer for quality control. So what I do, you can see it's already coming out the tip, is I gently rub it across Make sure that, and what I like about the Tombow is that it is um, water-based. You wanna be careful not to put a lot on here. You don't want it to be a pond of glue. So just kind of making sure it's all over. Then we're gonna start, I started putting some of them back, so I had to pull it out, realizing, oh, I don't, I still need to finish this corner. So we have the check mark first. Grab my drill pen here. 
Oh, I need wax on that. Let's try this one. And then you're just gonna stick them down. They will move around because you're dealing with wet glue. Now, you do not want to use super glue. Super glue is too strong. You're going to get glue all over your fingers. If it gets on your drill pen, it's just gonna be a nightmare. So I'm gently pressing them down and they will move around because, you know, think of paint, different things like that. And so I'm just being very gentle when I press them down. At first, I was really scared when I did this because I'm like, oh, they're not going to stay. But it turned out wonderful when it was done. If there's a spot that you realized you didn't get glue exactly on, wiggle it around because there's glue in the area. So like if there's no glue down here on this check mark, the bottom, I can start up here on this check mark and I can just move down. Now, of course, there is glue, so that's going to be like, ah. Um. Do, 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 do. See, I was a little bit gun ho there and moved my drills around. Don't panic, just be gentle and move them back. You will be fine. Now, that part didn't have any glue on it, so I need to kind of move it around, get the glue there. Because you're dealing with wet glue, too, sometimes. It'll stick more to your wax in your pen than to the glue. Just be gentle, be patient. Maybe grab another drill that's not so attached to the wax. Take it off your pen, re-put it on. You are gonna wanna leave this flat as it dries because otherwise it's gonna move around on you because it's just like wet. I put a little too much glue because you guys were watching me. I was pressured to be like the best. Okay, now that, there we go. Pushed it in. That's what she said, right? All right. So this is going to be glue glue. It's going to stay. It's not gonna go anywhere. So for instance, here where I glued it, I can't take these off like I can in this area because of this, the natural poured glue that it comes. So do as I do not, or do as I say, not as I do. I was a little gun ho Okay. So let's keep going. Almost done with these check marks. I think that's all the check marks. So I'm gonna switch over to the fours. The fours are 3865. Okay, here we go. Let's get these fours in. And the more you get filled in, the more this is gonna work out for you. Now see here, this is where I was talking about the wax is a little bit stronger because the glue is wet. So I'm going to get my handy dandy sharp tweezers. Put this down, just give it a little bit of a release so that air gets between the drill and the wax and lets it go. There we go. It is worth taking a little bit of extra time, get this corner done. I know it's not as nice as if you had a perfect canvas. but it gets it done for you, and it was just this corner. 
I think this little area didn't get glue in because I got glue in the other areas too much. So now we've got it. Okay, so I'm gonna pause the camera. I'm gonna finish up this area and then I'm gonna come back and show it to you. But I hope you can see I'm not hiding anything. Sometimes I need to use my tweezers. Sometimes it works out great. Sometimes I have floaters, but it's gonna work out in the end. You're gonna get it and it's gonna look beautiful. So I'm gonna keep filling this in and I will be back shortly. Probably just a second for you guys. And we're back and our glue is now dry. As you can see, these are not going anywhere. You saw me struggling with them when I was laying them down and now they are solid. They are not going anywhere. So I just wanted to show you that that's one of the ways you can correct and repair your areas that don't have as sticky of a glue. This is also something you can do if you stick your arm in it, you got some fuzz, you can use some baby wipes if there's a hue, and then the sticky should come back. But if, for instance, it does not, uh, you can use this same aqua glue or this pen and go back and put down your drills. So I hope this was a helpful hint. Just gives you one of many different suge suggestions to try this out. My next um, try will be that Eileen Sticky Tack. So I'm going to go find another canvas that may be damaged or minus glue, and I'm gonna try that. So stay tuned to an upcoming video in the next couple weeks, and we will try a second option for you. I hope you have a great evening, afternoon, or morning, depending on when you watch this. Until next time, be blessed, take care, bye-bye.